Hi YouTubers, Dave out in Western PA, USA, and uh, here I have a little aluminum air battery, and uh, basically you can see it's running this uh, small one and a half volt DC motor. You can get them on eBay; they're very inexpensive. I buy them ten at a time, and the way I constructed this aluminum air battery, I got uh, this works well. I picked up these two by two little yellow folders. Now a lot of people who collect coins or stamps will tuck them in these little envelopes. They're very cheap and they work very well because if you work with aluminum air batteries sooner or later you're going to figure it's going to be a mess with activated uh, carbon uh, all over the place. And uh, what I did, I have a glass container just holding it and the yellow manila envelope is filled with activated carbon and I have in there some manganese dioxide. You can scrap, scrape it out of a zinc uh, uh, lantern battery, the six volt ones. And I have uh, uh, point, uh, 0 0.70 molar sodium hydroxide as electrolyte. It's an air battery and uh, uh, it works very well. No mess, pretty clean, good for students or home experimenters. and. Uh, you uh, fill up the little envelope with the activated carbon and manganese dioxide and wrap it up with aluminum foil, that's what I'm using here, and uh, it's good to go. And uh, my open voltage, uh, five minutes after constructing the cell, I saw 1.45 volts, and of course that should go up. And uh, the uh, short circuit, I saw uh, about 45 milliamps and it's running this little motor very well. I'll hook it up to my vernier board. I can't do it right now. I'm running something else but uh, then I'll uh, collect uh, current